Hello, thank you once again for joining today's session. My name is Kingsley Ezebosi and I am a technical trainer. So today, basically, we are going to be discussing about how to modernize your, your root site, okay? So what is, what is a root site in SharePoint? Now, when you talk about root sites, you talk about that site that is automatically provisioned upon creating or upon opting in for a Microsoft 365 subscription or license, which of course covers the SharePoint license. It could be the SharePoint license plan one or the SharePoint license plan two. So why do organizations tend to replace their root sites? So for instance, I will just navigate to my active sites, okay? Right, and then I'll just hover on my URL, just click change it to A to Z. Most cases, it, most cases it works. So this is my root site. So your root site always have that extension of domain.sharepoint.com, all right? So when you just click on it, it's gonna open in a new tab. Look at it here. So this is my root sites. It's xz htn.sharepoint.com. And um, just by way of having to recall, in my previous video, in my previous video, I talked about how to change your SharePoint domain name. Okay. So um, I have actually changed my SharePoint domain name from the previous domain name, which was it's xz htm. So m for man. So I changed it from that domain name to it's xz it's tn okay so how we're going to um how we're going to verify that don't worry i know this is a bit of a um this is a bit of outside our training scope for now but i just want to show us how this actually happened okay so i'll just navigate to portal.azure.com and when i navigate to portal.azure.com i will just click on azure active directory Active Directory. So once I get to Directory, do so I'll scroll down and I'll click on Custom Domain Name. So look at it here. So this was my previous domain, which was itxzhtm.microsoft.com, which was the domain that my SharePoint Admin Center had. Okay, prior to the um, prior to the change of my domain name to, I changed it from this domain name to this domain name. <clears throat> However. Of course, just as I as I've earlier explained, <clears throat> that this change is not going to affect your emails. It's just going to affect your SharePoint and your OneDrive sites. Okay, basically. So that is how I did the change. So if you want to understand more regarding how I was able to change my SharePoint domain name, please visit my previous um, video or my previous um, article that I had uploaded, and then you would find all the re relevant information that you okay so back to what we have so this is your SharePoint root sites for example one of the reasons why organizations would like to replace their root sites is of course if there is a particular site that have actually been um, modernized or worked on or designed in a way that it actually fits the company's internal organization structure so in order for them to make that site a root site, they would have to replace the current root sites with that very site that have been properly designed and modernized. Okay. Now, there are some limitations uh, when it has to do with um, replacing your SharePoint, replacing your um, replacing your SharePoint root sites. Okay. And some of these limitations, we are going to be discussing them in detail. Now. So I'll just bring this here and then look at it here. So I'm just going to discuss certain limitations. Okay. So the first one says the site you select as the new root site must be a communication site or a modern team site that is not connected to an Office 365 group. So now this is the site templates publishing um, the 
the site template publishing um the publishing um url not like a url but this is a site template publishing how you are able to actually identify each site template okay we have that of the communication site we have the team site and we have the classic sites okay so this is more like the site templates okay for communication sites so how did we how did they how did we get this i'll just show us in, in a nutshell so just double click or right click click on view page source okay so once you click on view page source it's going to come up like this of course it may look very um very big for you all right all you just have to do is type ctrl f and type web okay let me go over it again so we're gonna have view page source okay so once you click on view page source and then you type templates good so yes so templates so once you type ctrl f to find right and then you type templates okay and then you now press enter you would look for it just to be sure to confirm it's gonna go through all the templates you have okay so let us see okay there it is look at it here so this site page publishing hash zero so that is how we've been able to verify or how you can know the site that is a communication site okay using this very feature okay so this is more like the web template configuration okay so now let us get to the team sites i'm going to still show us that of the team sites so i'm trying to digress a bit of course it's still part of the learning um still part of the learning learning curve for us okay so this is my team sites i'll just right click click on view page source and then i'll type ctrl f to find and i'll type in templates and then press enter so it's going to take me to the to the web template itself so keep going keep going you have to just take your time and then carefully look for it if not you may you may you may skip it without knowing okay so look at it here so this is that of the team sites okay group hash zero okay that's how you've been that's how you'll be able to find that of the team sites all right so another thing we are going to uh, we are going to check will be that of the um that of the team classic experience that's the classic site but before we um move to the classic site let us check let us check okay let us just check that of the classic site so this actually cuts across different site templates okay so this is a classic site that i have i'll just open it i'll just open it so whenever you hear about can i have the site templates can i have this more like the site template configuration or with the web template configuration then this is what you'd have to do to get it okay so now this is my classic sites okay I'll just right click view page source it's gonna open let's wait for it <clears throat> and then ctrl f to, to template and then let us find it oh this is it so this is that of the classic sites okay this is that of the classic site of course it's still cut across different um, web um, different sites templates okay different sites templates we can even still see it again here let us check let us check if we can find it but of course we should be able to still find it should be able to still find it okay okay but there it is there it is all right so that is it so coming back to our discussion for today sorry that we had to digress a bit but it's very important for us to have to also have that knowledge and understanding okay so of course this is part of the limitations that you need to make sure that the it is a communication site or a team site that 
is not connected to a Microsoft 365 group okay a Microsoft 365 group now how do you create a team site that should not be connected to a Microsoft 365 group it's pretty easy when you click on create scroll down you click on more options all right now this is team sites so when you create a team site from here the template here is not going to be connected to a Microsoft 365 group okay so this is how you can actually create a team site that is not connected to an Office 365 group let us say um, team not connected to group so let me just create it all right primary administrator Kingsley so I'll just click on advanced to know what we've got there sensitivity label so it's mandatory so I created a sensitivity label on my on my arm um, from the compliance admin center all right so I'll just click on finish I'll just click on finish So we're just gonna allow it to load. It's trying to publish. So just search for it. Team not connected. Okay, there it is. Okay, so look at it here. So by the time you check this, the template, you would see team sites, not no Microsoft 365 group. So it means that it is not connected to a Microsoft 365 group. All right so that is what it means that's what it's actually talking about for the second for the second one not connected to office 365 group so now the next option is saying when you replace the root sites both the current site and the new sites can't be a hub or associated with a hub so invariably it's talking about when you when you have when you've selected the appropriate site template you want to make as the as your root site if each of those site templates be it communication site or microsoft 365 um, not um, a team site not connected to a microsoft 365 group now even if you have to even if you have to either make any of the site templates as your root site you need to ensure that each of the sites are not connected to a hub site or it is a hub site itself or registered as a hub so these are the things you need to actually ensure and then there are some other limitations here that you'd have to just read up on just by way of you having to understand the whole um the whole limitation okay so of course so we're just going to dive into it proper it's a very easy and straightforward process that we are going to follow regarding this so i'll just clear the filters and then this is my this is my current um, this is my current root site collaboration sites I'm going to look for another communication site that I am going to make as my root site so that will make more sense so I have a site called local intranet I have a site called local intranet this is how it looks okay this is my local intranet now look at the URL prior to the change it has my domain name dot sharepoint dot com forward slash sites forward slash my site's name which is local intranet now I'm going to replace my current root sites with local intranet so I'll just right click and copy the link address and copy it. good and then I will navigate to my collaboration site which is my root site and then I'll click on the three dots click on replace sites and then I'm going to paste the local intranet site URL here okay so this is what it is saying the current root sites will be moved to URL this for like archive and then this is the dates this is the dates 20th 2023 february 16 um, 16 t two three five five these are just the the parameters and this is the dates okay all right and then this is the time all right now so this is what i'm going to do now 
what I'm going to do is I'll just proceed to click on save so once I click on save I'll have to give it some time for this change to take effect now another thing you would have to understand regarding the replacement of your root sites is sometimes it can take a bit longer sometimes it can take much longer this is dependent on the content that you have on the target root sites that you want to replace it with okay so if what if the content you have is quite large so the, the larger the content you have the more time it's gonna take so can you see it has replaced the root sites and then it have marked these sites as an archive this is what I'm actually trying to reference okay it has marked this site as an archive while the local intranet is now my current root site look at it here local intranet and then look at the initial domain okay so when I click on it it no longer have this previous domain I don't want to refresh this if I refresh this page the changes will take effect now but I'm just trying to explain to us now so this is the previous URL domain.sharepoint.com forward slash sites forward slash local intranet now this is how it should be now so I'll just navigate back here and then I will refresh good it has changed automatically to the root site URL so this is how you can actually change your current two sites to another to another SharePoint sites of course it has to either be a communication site or a team site that is not connected to an office 365 group I hope this has been very very informative to you thank you very much for joining and then I look forward to actually sharing more tips and more um, quick training guide regarding SharePoint thank you very much and have a lovely day bye for now